add in uh hey 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 what's going on you guys i'm veggie rolls welcome back to my channel if this is your first time stopping by don't forget to go ahead and hit that subscribe button it looks like this and the little, the little notification bell next to it <laughs> so you'll be notified every time a new video goes up which is every monday wednesday and saturday Saturday we have sweet Saturdays, which we do a sweet treat or some sort of vegan dessert. So don't forget to subscribe so you won't miss out on any of that goodness. So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to make a quinoa stuffing. And it's going to be easy to whip up and it's going to be so good in the end. Um, and like halfway through and in between and anytime you feel like grab a little piece and you can taste it. And oh, I'm just tasting it. I'm just tasting it. But it's, you're just eating it because it's good. So, uh, let's get busy. Alright you guys, let's go ahead and get started. So, I'm going to be water sauteing um, our veggies and stuff like that because the other day I deep fried some stuff and I'm like, well, maybe I should not use oil for the rest of the week type of thing. So, into our pan, um, I'm going to go ahead and uh, water saute. I just put in like, kind of like three tablespoons, four tablespoons of water, and I'm going to go ahead and add in three-fourths of a cup of chopped carrots. I'm saying three-fourths of a cup because I did a carrot, but it's like, it was like a pretty big carrot. Um, but yeah, approximately three-fourths to a cup. Next, I'm going to be putting in uh, half of a red onion chopped up, and I'm also going to be adding in two celery stalks chopped up. Into this, I'm going to add about a pinch of salt, and I'm going to crack some black pepper into there. And I have this at a high heat. Alright, so now that my carrots are as tender as I would like, um, I like them tender, but I still want them to have like a little bit of a bite to them, I'm going to go ahead and take this off of the heat. Alright guys, and here I have one acorn squash and four acorn squash, which, ha which has already been roasted. All I did was cut it in half, put it face down onto the bacon tray and then I put it into the oven uh, which had been preheating at 350 degrees for about 35 to 40 minutes until everything became nice and tender. And next what I'm going to be doing is scooping out uh, our butternut squash. And we're going to put the butternut squash to the side and we're definitely going to be saving this because this is going to be part of our stuffing. You want to roast your butternut squash until it's really nice and tender. That way you can scoop everything out really easy. And here we basically have what's left. It's just like a, a shell of your acorn squash. And here I set aside about half of the acorn squash because that acorn, uh, acorn squash was huge. So I have about the other half set aside. This is approximately two cups of acorn squash. And I'm, I'm not really like mashing it as much as I'm like separating it a little bit, even though it is pretty much mashed at this point. With our quinoa, and I have cooked one cup of quinoa the way you would normally cook your quinoa. Um, and I actually cooked it with two cups of vegetable broth for added flavor. And into this mixture, we're also going to be adding in all of our uh, stir fried veggies or our sauteed veggies. And at this point, I'm going to go ahead and add in half of a cup of chopped parsley. I'm also going to be adding in our spices. I have one teaspoon of garlic powder, one teaspoon of sage, a fourth of a teaspoon of uh, ground black pepper, and a fourth of a teaspoon of salt. But of course, you can do uh, salt and pepper to taste. And we're going to go ahead and mix this all up. I'm also going to be adding half of a cup of dried cranberries and half of a cup of chopped almonds. You can do any nut that you prefer. You can do walnuts or pecans. I'm going to go ahead and just put it back into these little shells because Thanksgiving and the holidays is all about like food presentation and making everything just look so beautiful.
And what's more beautiful than bringing out stuffing in its own little shell? I'm going to go ahead and transfer it into a pretty plate. And you want to make it look extra beautiful, put a nice little sprig of parsley on there. And then just like throw on some parsley around the sides. And bam, there you have a beautiful vegan Thanksgiving side dish or just holiday side dish in general. Alright guys, you know what time it is. It's time for the taste test cam. Look at this huge bite that I'm going in for. It's still going in though. Here we go. Mmm. Mmm. Wow. Mmm. That is so good. It's like such a simple recipe with such simple ingredients. But at the same time, the flavors feel so complex. When you're eating it, it's like, wow. And then you have another bite, you're like, oh, wow. It's a lot going on, but in a really good way. It's not like in an overpowering way. So, so good, you guys. I'm going to eat one of those, a whole one of those acorn bowls to myself right now. So go ahead and make this and let me know what you guys think. So, that's it you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to give this video a big old thumbs up if you liked it. Also, don't forget to tag me on Instagram and also hashtag Let's Get Veggie. If you make this recipe or any of my other recipes, I would love to see what you made. I love getting you guys' feedback and chit-chatting it up with you guys. So, yeah, I will talk to you guys very soon.